Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and today we're continuing our mini series of classic patterns in Procreate. We've been working our way through all of these patterns here. We've done the diagonal stripe, the e-cat, hind's tooth, basket weave, nail's head and today we are tackling this argyle pattern here. As long as you're careful with your snapping, this pattern is simple enough for a beginner to tackle. If you're a regular here and you want to skip straight to the beginning of the tutorial, you can go ahead and do that with the timestamps in the description. If this is your first time here, then welcome to the Pattern Makers Toolkit. If you want to use the same colour palette as me, you can find that over on the website. And I also have a stitch brush for you to help you get that dashed line that crosses over in the pattern here. If you were a Pattern Makers Toolkit member back in the summer when this brush was the monthly freebie, then you will already have this. But if you don't, or if you forgot to download the first time, then I've made it available in the resource library on the website along with the colour palette. So once you have those downloaded and we're ready to go, we'll look at how to set the canvas up. So although this pattern tile here, you can see is 3000 by 4000 pixels, we actually need to start in a 4000 pixel canvas. So we're going to tap plus up here, create a new canvas, and we'll make this one 4000 by 4000 pixels. And we want the DPI at 300. So we'll start by filling a layer with this dark blue color here. So tap on your layer and tap fill. Then we're going to tap transform and you want your interpolation method here to be bicubic. Then we're going to rotate it 45 degrees and fit it to the canvas. Then we can tap up here. Then we're going to tap transform again, tap on this node here, uncheck the ratio, and we're going to make the width 3000 pixels. So we've got this diamond shape here, 3000 pixels wide and 4000 pixels high. And then make sure you've got snapping and magnetics on, and we're going to center this on the canvas. And you'll see those two orange lines there. So we needed the square canvas to be able to make that diamond and then squish it down. So now we can crop our canvas down to the rectangular shape. So we're going to come up here to our actions, tap on canvas, and we're going to tap crop and resize. Come up to settings and we're going to turn snapping on and we're going to change the width to 3000 pixels. Then you can tap done and then you can drag this across and snap the boundary of the canvas to the middle of this diamond there. And you can tap done. So now our canvas is 3000 by 4000. So now we can put the other colors in around the outside. So duplicate this layer. I'm going to alpha lock it and I'm going to fill it with this lighter color here. Then we can tap transform and I'm going to put this into diagonally opposite corners of the canvas, making sure that we have those orange lines there. Then we can duplicate that rotate it 45 degrees and put it down into this corner here. Then we can pinch and merge those two together. Then we can duplicate, tap transform, flip it horizontally, and I'm going to fill that with this mid color there. Now I know at the moment you're probably thinking this isn't going to repeat properly because we've got four corners of this tile and they're all different colours. We're going to use this tile to make another tile and we're going to do some flipping around so it will repeat properly, I promise. First of all though, we need to put our diagonal lines in. So I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to grab my stitch brush and I'm going to use this pink colour here. And what I'm going to do is starting almost in the corner here, I'm going to drag and draw a line up to almost this corner here and then use edit line to bring this pretty much into the corner there this doesn't have to be too precise and then pretty much into the corner there as long as you don't make it go over the edge it does whoops you don't need to worry about the exact angles here funny story when i was working out this pattern I have my daughter and her boyfriend who are both doing a level maths and are even bigger maths nerds than I am and I had them working out all kinds of angles to try and get this mathematically perfect and we couldn't get a compromise between perfect maths and then working with perfect pixels in procreate so I came up with this method of kind of drawing an almost freehand line that doesn't match up all the way so trust me <laughs> this is a much easier way of doing it just come back and snap this one into the corner again make sure that's all in the right place and then you can tap anywhere when you're done with that so then we can select this layer with the line on it and I'm going to center this on the canvas it shouldn't be too far off there we go 
and again just make sure that it hasn't actually snapped to the edges of the canvas. Then we can duplicate this, tap transform and flip it horizontally. We should have a nice little X there in the middle and that is almost our basic tile dem. So I'm going to group all of this together so then we can duplicate this and tap flatten and keep this one underneath for going back to if we need it. So then we can tap up here and we're going to drag this halfway up until we have 1500 pixels for the width and 2000 pixels for the height. You'll also have orange lines there and that will snap nicely into place. Then we can duplicate this and snap that over there. And this is what I meant earlier about it not repeating because the corners are different colours. What we're going to do is flip this horizontally and then we've got that there so it matches up. Zoom in and make sure that's all lined up nicely. If you've got some of these semi-transparent lines there you can just change your background colour to the same colour as your middle diamond, the darker colour, and it won't look like you've got gaps there. Then you can merge those together, duplicate that, snap these down to the bottom and then just whoops, flip that one vertically so those colours match up, make sure it's snapped in place, zoom in, check your gap there and then you can pinch and merge those together and then that will be the tile that you export as your pattern tile. Let's just test this one more time and check the repeat on this. So we can tap up here to transform, snap this up to the middle again and then just repeat this around the canvas one more time. And there we go, that is our classic Argyle pattern in Procreate. If you have a go at making this pattern and you share yours on Cara, then don't forget to tag me at Becky Flaherty so I can see it. And don't forget you can get the resources for this, so the stitch brush that we used here and this crazy colour palette if you want to use that, you can find that over in the Pattern Makers Toolkit. The Pattern Makers Toolkit is kind of like a Patreon group except it's free. You get access to all the resources in the Pattern Makers Toolkit on my website, including those I make for my Skillshare classes, early access to some of my YouTube tutorials and drawing prompts, discounts in my Etsy store and one new freebie exclusively via email every month. And I only send out one email per month, I promise. And lastly, if you want to see more pattern tutorials like this every week, then don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you soon.